Hello everyone, and welcome back to Old One Seven to the Sky. Um, in the last few episodes, we've done a number of different things. One is we've got a um a mob grinder over here that's pretty much he, he's well on his way to be automated. Um, all that we need at the moment in order to finish this up is um oh god is probably a few more upgrades in here for like you know sharpness and stuff. Probably something to quiet these guys down, <laughs> as well as some more vector plates to actually properly push them into the um, thing, and then something to pick up all the junk, right? We can do that. In fact, right now, let me search Hopper real quick and bookmark um, the Absorption Hopper, just so that, you know, we can get that in the future, as well as the vector plates, because I cleared my uh, my stuff the other day, my bookmarks. Um, another thing we did, I think in the last episode specifically, uh, we set up a backpack here. So like, we've removed all of our storage, and instead what we have is an item pipe going underneath from this chest, which is our, uh, you know, processing sieve, all the way into this backpack here, which as you can see, is full of a bunch of junk. Um, it's pretty good. That's honestly pretty good. Um, a number of things we need to do here. <laughs> One of it is, I reckon some of these like things that are filling up a lot, we probably should get rid of um, for a number of reasons. One is there's the threat, I guess, of your game file or even like your player file getting corrupted um, by having too many items in like, a, well, I guess in a chest or in a, in a backpack. Now, whilst it's a thing, you know, it, it may or may not exist. I, I don't know the specifics. In all the mod seven, just normal all the mod seven, we had, we were using a backpack. It might have been a chest. I don't know if it was a backpack or a chest, but we had I think it was like I don't know if it was sixty five thousand of an item or if it was like six hundred and fifty thousand of an item. We had a lot of copper in one of these uh, chests, and I think I even carried that chest with me. So I don't think it's an issue. I tend to take backups somewhat often. But I'll keep you guys updated. You know what I mean? If this breaks my game, I'll let you... You guys will know. You'll, you'll definitely find out. Um, but to be fair, all of this, probably... You probably could store it in like two storage cells. And these are a little bit safer because they're stored in a, in a different file. Um, that, that's my understanding. I could be wrong, of course. So, you know, it's not the end-all be-all, these backpacks. But they're pretty good. You know, they'll, they'll, they'll get you going for a little while. So, what do we want to do this episode? Um, we, we still have a few things we need to do. We have a bit of a, a board over here. Um, one of those things is auto-processing, right? Getting the items from this system into some sort of smeltery. It doesn't have to be this smeltery here, but into some sort of processing system and then back in here in ingot form. Because, I mean, that seems pretty good. I, I, I would absolutely love to have, just have all my resources here so we can just craft as we go, do all of that sort of stuff. And once it is hooked up, we should be able to do auto crafting as well, like, you know, smelting different, uh, different things and stuff. <laughs> so what is the plan? Well, we could try, <laughs> we could try to do that. Um, th there's some other things I wanted to do as well though. We could potentially, you know, finish off that pretty quickly. We could do automated slime. Um, I don't, I think the slime was going to be for like sticky pistons and stuff. Trampolines. Huh. <laughs> um, and, and slime you can actually get, I, I was told, um, from witch water. With, with, a, with a mushroom. So that's an option. There's, uh, listen, here's the thing. There's a lot you can do in this pack, like a phenomenal amount. So it's sort of like, it's like, what do we do? Can we even get it done in the episode? That sort of stuff. Um, I'll tell you what, the first thing I want to do is I reckon we can clean that area up. You know, I'll set up an absorption hopper. That's probably good enough for me. If we, oh, you know what? The vector plates, they needed the slime. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, that, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, we, we might do the slime this episode then, because that, that seems pretty good. That'll all feed together and get, get some good stuff happening. Um, <laughs> so, what do we need for um for slime? Well, for starters, we could manually set up the slime. And real, realistically, we, we probably will do that. Because, that, I mean, that's pretty simple. Um, In order to do this, I believe what we need are called ancient spores. Or at least that's what they used to be called. Um, they might not be called ancient spores in this version of the of the mod pack, right? In this, uh, all the mod seven to the sky. I think I saw that they're called mycelial spores. Yeah, these guys here. So this is what we're going to need. And you get it from sifting dirt. So I think we have some, but it might be in this one chest over here that has all of our greenery. Um, if we even have it. And to be honest, I'm looking at it and it's meant to be purple. I don't see any purple in here. So I don't think we have any. So we're going to have to process some. And that might sound horrific, but it's honestly not the end of the world. Um, we've obviously got a decent amount of dirt. Oh my. You know what? I very much prefer refined storage's um, interface completely. I love that there's a search bar at the top that's also linked up with JEI. And I also love that when I'm holding shift and I take out a stack, it doesn't move. It waits until I let go before it rearranges itself. Now, there might be an option for this. I don't know what it is. I, I, like, I, I don't know how to change that option. And 
it's one of those things where it's like, I'd prefer that just as a default thing, which refined storage has. So yeah, you, you know what? Uh, the more you use these mods, you get to figure out like which parts you like, like the mass storage of these guys or I don't know. There's, there's lots of things to take into account. I'll tell you what as well. We're, we're probably going to sleep through this. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be good. I still, I realize I still haven't gotten rid of this command block. Th this command block literally sends a command to an admin on my server, which I'm not even in at the moment. I'm in single player um, to give them an item. They, they apparently built this on my island, I, I guess, because they spawned here. Um, and I just, I, I mean, I have to go into like creative mode to remove it. So it's just sort of sitting there. <laughs> We'll, we'll, yeah, I'll get rid of it one day <laughs> or, or maybe it'll remain there for like the entire series. Um, yeah, yeah. So I could chuck the stuff in here, which honestly, yeah, why not? You know, what? who cares? So this should now process the dirt. And if we're lucky, once again, we should get some mycelial spores. Now the spawn rate of these guys is 5% and it looks like it's 5% on pretty much all of them. Like we're using a diamond mesh. It's still just 5%. So we might get some, we might not get some. It's just the harsh reality that is uh, that is percentages. Um, so fingers crossed, but but once again, we can't really change the world. Um, I mean, that's that's pretty much it, to be honest. If anything, maybe we need to make some more dirt. Maybe, you know what I need to do? Like, like genuinely, we need to set up auto crafting. Because that, like I want to start doing auto processing and stuff like I would with um, refined storage. But I'll be honest, I'm a little bit scared to jump into applied logistics because it has been a little while. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll look through at the recipes and, and I'll come back whilst I'm processing uh, the rest of this. Okay, so I, I think it can be done. We can set up auto processing and potentially auto crafting, but we are going to have to put in a little bit of work. Um, what I think we'll do for starters is pick up this guy, so our chest full of our inscriber stuff, as well as the inscriber itself. I reckon we need to put this thing somewhere else and actually hook up some sort of automation. Whether that's just hoppers, I'm fine with that, or whether it's an actual item pipe with... um with filters and, and destinations, that might be a little bit more fun because then I should, in theory, be able to put all my ingredients into one chest. That's sort of what I, the, the problem is, I'll be honest, you sort of need more than one inscriber to do everything. And it's like, it's a bit of a chore. We can upgrade this guy, you know, we can take him probably to the advanced inscriber because this guy needs quite a few things that I don't really have. I mean, what, what, what would we need? Like how impossible is this? I mean, it's more just like intimidating than it is impossible. <sighs> I keep trying to like make decisions, but it's, it honestly, oh, we actually got, is that eight spores? We had none and there was, a, I think like 30 left in there. So apparently we got eight from the 30 that was left. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I genuinely don't know because there's so many options. We'll do it manually. We'll, we'll set it up manually. So the first thing that we need to decide on what we want to make is either auto crafting or auto, or, or auto processing because they are two different things. I think what I'm going to start off with is auto processing. Um, eh, <laughs> I, I think so because what that should allow us to do is if we do hook it up to say a smeltery is we'll be able to be a lot more uh, specific in what we want. You know what I mean? Like instead of just automatically processing every ore, we can sort of just process it as we want. But is that what we want to do? Man, uh, I'm sorry. This whole episode is just me going, ah, oh, but do we want to do that? Oh, but we could do that. But what if we did this instead? <laughs> let, let, let me think again. Let me, let me properly decide. You know, I, I've sort of decided. <laughs> I think we will do the crafting because then I guess I could just order like these materials. Ah, oh, but then, then there's the issue of like, well, I want this stuff automated because honestly, the, the processes are the most annoying part. And I, I mean, to be fair, you probably do automate them with the same uh, processing uh, thing, this ME interface. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. We're probably going to do the ME interface, but for now, <laughs> for now, bear with me. We're probably going to um, jump back onto our slime thing because I, I think I'm confident that we can do that this episode. So for starters, we're going to grab a, a mycelial spore. We're also going to grab a barrel. Now, we don't have a barrel, but we have some barrels. For example, there's this barrel here, which, oh, it's actually already on mycelium. This is full of witch water. Yeah, okay. okay. Interesting. <laughs> so we can make slime already. And I'm just, I'm crazy. Okay, sure. Uh, do we have mushrooms? That's, I guess, the other thing is we need mushrooms. And to be honest, I don't really know how we go about getting them. Um, I would imagine you sieve something, but it doesn't honestly look like it. Um... What do we have here? A cutting board with a brown mushroom colony? Maybe. I, I sort of don't think so, but it's looking more and more like, hmm, like we just have to get a mushroom. 
<laughs> I don't know. If you use bone meal on my mycelium, do you get... I, I don't think you just get mushrooms, but may, maybe you do. I don't... I, I, I'll be honest. I'm a bit clueless here. Wow. Okay. Let me... You know what? I know what to do. Let's consult the book. <laughs> Surely the book tells us. Um, what looks like it's going to give me mushrooms. Oh, you know what I just saw as well? Uh, in the bounty board, this philosopher's stone, once you get this, boom, phantom charm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Also, take a free phantom charm. Being a skyblock, I think you'll thank me for this one. I, I do thank you. I have. I honestly haven't had a problem because we've been sleeping a lot, but whew, I, I would have very much uh, appreciated this uh, early on, especially on the server. That, that is going to be a lifesaver. Um, I, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm still not too sure on this whole uh, mushroom mushroom department. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess in theory, if we wanted to, to test, I can pick this barrel up um, and we can try to bone meal this thing. By the way, I'm using a complimentary reimagined uh, for my shaders. All right, let, let, let's grab some bone meal. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm expecting here. I don't think anything's going to happen, but no, no. I mean, nothing happens at all. Hmm. I, I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to Google this. <laughs> I don't know how to get mushrooms. You, you know what, actually? I, th I think I know. I think I know. I uh, Listen, there might be a way to get a mushroom this way. I think you're meant to go to the Twilight Forest. I I, I bet you that's what you're meant to do. Because pretty early on, that they suggest you go there. And I mean, I don't I don't have any mushrooms. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I, listen, I've been holding off going to the Twilight Forest purely because I've heard that it's, um... I don't know. Not not the true skyblock experience, obviously, because it's like a proper dimension. Um, let's do hashtag flower. We, we don't have any flowers? All right, I'm going to need that bone meal back. <laughs> uh, apologies if this is messy. Um, it feels messy. All right, well, anyway, I'm going to pretty much be doing this, where I right-click and then just uh, ulti mine all this stuff. By the way, oh! Oh, wait, did I bone meal this chicken into existence? And we have a... You know, oh, we've got... Oh, you, you, give me a second. I need to get them before they start, like, eating the mobs that spawn. Um, hold on. <laughs> Bones, here we go. Hey, okay, place your bets, by the way. How long until these two dogs um, cease to exist? Place your bets. All right, we got you. Beautiful. Where's the other guy? Come on. No, is he not? Did, did we lose him already? <laughs> oh, no, here he is. Here he is. Oh, that's dangerous. Alright, but yeah, here's our other dog. Beautiful. Nice. <laughs> okay, regardless of what happens this episode, we won. Okay, Th this episode's been a win. It's been very successful. <laughs> um, oh god. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is we need flowers. Um, the reason we need flowers is because what we're doing here is we are going to make, and I just need to grab a bucket from here, bucket, boom, is we are going to make a Twilight Forest portal. Um, in order to do this, we need to uh, dig out a 2x2 two two into the ground. Um, I'll place it over here, I guess. This is probably a nice little spot. Um, you know, we'll, we'll do it here just so it has a nice uh, circle around it. And my understanding is you create an infinite uh, pool in the middle. So a nice two by two of water. And then you place flowers all the way around it. So they don't have to be all the same type of flower. Um, I think just as long as they're flowers. I don't think you need the corners, but I guess we'll find out. And then, if I understand correctly, you throw in a diamond. Oh my God. And then, voila. It spawns, you might lose a couple flowers, that's fine, we had two spare, and you have a portal that goes to the Twilight Forest. So, what we're going to do, is we're going to open this up, we're going to put pretty much all this stuff away, um, we're actually full again. Oh, how are we, f oh, this is full, yeah, that makes sense, hmm, okay, <laughs> interesting, yes, hmm, okay, well, we've got a bunch of seeds, so that's, that's good, I guess, <laughs> um, yeah. What I will do is I do want this armor back because although we have this fun armor that gives us like speed boost and stuff, we probably want to be stronger more than anything going in here, um, just in case. And we're also going to grab a sword. This one's pretty good. Yeah, this one here. Um, although we have a diamond sword, this one's pretty good. It, it gives us like a lifesteal and stuff. So it, yeah, it seems pretty good. Um, we'll bring some building blocks as well. I don't think we'll need any. I, like I mainly plan to just go in here. And if there's, um, if there's mushrooms, I'm taking them. That, that, that's my plan. So I'm going to jump in. <laughs> We're going to hopefully load in. Hopefully nothing breaks. I haven't tested this dimension out with my shaders. Um, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. I was going to say, so far, not good. <laughs> okay, not only did it work, we're in here. Oh, we have a pillar of obsidian with some lapis on top. That's always fun. 
Um, we've got some beautiful shader skies. We have some firefly lanterns and stuff. We have some beautifully massive trees. Um, but also we spawned with the mushrooms. So to be honest, I mean, I've got what I came for. Um, but but th this right here, what you're witnessing, not just the low frame rate, <laughs> but mainly the fact of like, I mean, we could just live here. You know what I mean? Now it'd be pretty annoying because it'd be stuck at twilight the whole time um, instead of a beautiful daytime. But like, if we lived underground, and we, oh, what are you? Can I kill you? Oh, we can. Nice. So, uh, the silence of the forest. Hunt some local wildlife. Cool. Um, but but like if we if we built underground with like torches and stuff, I think we wouldn't really notice the difference from just like the all the mod seven playthrough. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't really. It's not very skyful. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I mean, like in terms of danger, I mean, I don't think there's much to be completely honest. Like there's bosses you can do in here. It's it's pretty fun. It's just like. I don't know. It's I don't know. It's not. It's I, I don't. I don't think it works too well. Anyway, I got my mushrooms. I'm jumping back through now. If you didn't get mushrooms when you jumped in, I would highly suggest uh, running around for a bit until you find them. I guess. <laughs> all right. Well, we've got mushrooms. Um, yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Now I don't want to use them all, obviously, because I mean we don't want to use them all. In terms of growing more mushrooms, uh, I don't really know if we have too many options outside of just like the vanilla way to do it. Um, which would obviously be just placing it in a dark room and hoping it spreads. You can do like garden cloches to, I guess, grow them. Um, I, th I imagine you could do, yeah, phytogenic uh, insulator as well, which we might do because, you know, it's a good idea. Um, but that's pretty much it. A brown shroom bee? I, I, I guess he'd do it too, I'm sure. Um, oh, in fact, how do we get him? We get another shroom bee and we feed it a mushroom. Cool. Sure. Yeah, anyway, cool. Nice. Well, I mean, in terms of how many we need, we probably only need one, so I, I, I think we're fine. I think I'm going to place this guy down. We'll fill him with some water. We'll wait for this uh, witch water effect to happen. It's at like 30%, so it shouldn't take too long. We'll put a mushroom in, and that should be enough slime balls to vector plate the rest of that place. Then we'll take care of the uh, the rest of the issues, which should be fine. So there we go. Slime block, nice and easy. Does this make four? or no? It makes nine. Beautiful. Um, so we're going to run back over here. Um, we'll make some vector plates. We're going to need sugar, really. We don't have any sugar. Um, I'll turn it on to sugar, mainly because, I mean, we've got, like, um, sugar cane growing, so it should be fine. Uh, oh yeah, and basalt, that's what we need. We might take care of that this episode as well. We're gonna take care of a lot of these smaller things, but it's gonna benefit us big time in the long run. Um, oh my god, is that a... Was that a rabbit that just, like, completely sprinted into the mob masher? Why did it do that? <laughs> Alright, um, in terms of my safety here, I don't know what my plan is. I need to go in there, obviously, but... Hmm. I mean, I'm looking at the map. There's a lot of creepers. I'd rather them, you know, dispose of themselves. Okay, creepers taken care of. If there's anything else in here, um, it'll be fine. Okay, there's a few of these guys. Oh, nice. We can, like, one-tap them. Beautiful. Um, so, over here, we're going to place our vector plates. <laughs> I'm realizing now I probably should have brought more. What we might do is... Nope, I don't have any torches on me, so we, we probably won't do anything. Um, I guess I can break a hole in the wall and that might light it up enough that like I can come back here and not have to worry about mobs. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, yeah, I'll go run back. Uh, how many do you think I need there? To be honest, probably all I can craft because it's a pretty big room <laughs> in all honesty. Um, and, and this should be good. This should be good. Oh, the melons have grown as well. Um, and what else do I need? An absorption hopper. Oh yeah, we need a basalt. That's why I didn't craft more. Okay. <laughs> and we have a completely full inventory? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, yeah, I see the issue. Um, hmm. <laughs> what do I do? Can I even... Okay, I can store that. Um, <sighs> there's a lot we have to do. Uh, I'll tell you what. We're probably going to have to make some more uh, notice boards. In fact, what do we need? To we need the chicken for the dreadful dirt, don't we? I, I need to store that chicken. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. While he's here, can we make a mob yoinker? No, the yoinkers aren't in this pack. Okay. Can we make lassos? No, lassos aren't in this pack. I imagine mob imprisonment tools are, but we don't have plastic or gas tears, so we can't pick it. Hmm. Oh, but hold on. We have vanilla. We have a lead. Excellent. Okay, chicken. Thank you. Come with me. Uh, do do not go into the twilight forest. <laughs> just just don't. Yep. Come this way. Yep. 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 And you are going to sit right with the wolves. Oh. <laughs> All right. What's what's he got? Um, speed could be fun. I like the idea of that. Eyes of Ender, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll be right back. Okay. So, 
first things first, I reckon we make another storage cell just so that we can you know, make sure that everything's stored away. I, I, I think it needs to be done. And so we're going to do it. Um, so I'm going to search storage. Um, we obviously just want a 1K. It's going to be nice and easy. We'll get this guy. Most of this, once again, we can auto craft. Like, once again, the processes, that's the like only piece of this puzzle that's sort of keeping us from, from greatness. Um, so in, in terms of here, what do we need? We need gold. We need a redstone. And I believe we need a silicon. The question is, do we have a silicon? Or we actually do have quite a few, as well as a silicon press. We'll grab that. Um, so inside this guy will obviously be the silicon, silicon press. Do we have a logic thing? Nope, it's probably in here. I accidentally put a bunch of them in here when clearly they're not meant to be there. Um, so that guy's done. We'll do this. Um, is this all we needed for this? Pretty much. I, I mean, there's also the quartz glass, but that, you know that's easily done, I think. Um, and then we just slap all this together. And we have the... Like, it, it's quick. It's just... I don't like doing it. <laughs> I don't like doing it because I feel like it's so much easier um, in refined storage. It's just the simple, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not even that much simpler. Like you still have to smelt stuff. I don't know. I don't know what it is to be honest. All I know is that, um, there we go. <laughs> we have this thing. So here's our third cell. I'm going to chuck this in here. And I mean, this should keep us covered for a while. I think our biggest issue are going to be like these boots. I mean, like, look at this stuff. Some of these are actually better than like my actual proper diamond armor that we have. So we're going to have to investigate that later. But for now, <laughs> what are we up to? I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I went and did something. So I'm back currently, but like clearly I'm out of touch at the moment. Um, yes, basalt. That's what we needed for the vector plates. Okay, so how do we get basalt? Well, there's a few ways. We can search basalt. Um, we'll press R on this. Um, we can get some pebbles. You know, that's that's pretty much that's how we've been doing it. Um, but I think the other way, and the main way to do it, there's also like polished basalt you can do, there's bees, is the igneous extruder, which I actually had bookmarked. Um, this guy, when given lava, and apparently ice, oddly enough. I, I thought it was water for most of these, but I guess for basalt, it's ice. Um, and this is, I guess, on top of soul soil, we will get basalt. <laughs> Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Um... So yeah, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is what we're meant to do. Now, there's also Darkstone, I believe. Uh, is it called Darkstone? It might be Blackstone. I think it's the Minecraft one, like the vanilla Minecraft. I think it's this thing, right? This one doesn't use the Soulstone. It just uses blue ice. Hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll have to look into both of these. But the first thing we need in order to begin is the Igneous Extruder. Now, 99% of this we already have. Like the Redstone Servo, that's clearly done nice and easy. The Piston... Also done nice and easy. So all that's left is this piece here. And this is Constantin. Now, Constantin is made by uh, alloying together nickel and copper at a one-to-one. -one. So what I can do is I can search um, ingot. And we should have quite a few things here. Uh, you know what? We, we can do the dust. Let's grab nickel. We'll grab out a stack of it. We'll search copper. We'll grab out a stack of it. And we'll process all of this together because, I mean, it's pretty easy to do. We've got two 16s here. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, we're actually... <laughs> we're very clogged up at the moment, and uh, we need more lava. You know what I need as well? I probably need, like, a tank over here that I can um, interchange. You know what I mean? So, like, we have one full, and then we just swap it over. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Now, realistically, I should probably just, you know, connect the pipes. <laughs> that would probably make more sense. But, hey, listen. You work with what you got. So, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it like this for now. Um... Uh, what do I actually want to do here? Do I want to empty this stuff? You know what I should do? I should have a lever over there as well. I think that would... Yeah, yeah that, that, that's probably worth doing too. <laughs> Alright, so if I press a lever... If I put a lever... um, I, Sort of anywhere here, but I guess I'm going to have to place it there. This should stop the hopper from functioning. Meaning if I take this stuff out, it doesn't fill back in. Um, So the next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put... Eh, yeah, we'll do four and four. I mean, that's pretty much what we want. Um, and so if we replace this guy with something that has a little bit of lava in it, and we can place that guy back down there to start filling, um, we should hopefully get... Drum roll, please. Oh, actually, we want to turn this off. Um, there we go. We should get this stuff mixing, and we should get some Constantin. Now, uh, for this Igneous Extruder, for one of them, we need one gear. Now, currently, there's two recipes. There's one that uses either eight ingots or four plates or four ingots in, you know, the casting table. There's these options or there's this one, which uses an iron nugget in the middle. In terms of which one we're going to do, it's probably going to be the, the iron nugget one because I, I don't have a gear cast made and I can't be bothered to make one at the moment if we're being completely honest. So we'll leave it as it is for now. And we've now got a block in a little bit. So, I mean, that's uh, plenty. Yeah, awesome. So, wait for this to solidify. That'll all go in here. We'll get some Constantin. And then we're good to go. 
<laughs> and the rest of this stuff, I don't know. Maybe we could hook it up again. Um, um, we probably will. What do we have? Two ingots left? Yeah, let's turn this on. So we should get this guy filling up oh, with a bunch of stuff like some nickel and whatnot. And sure, we can... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> anyway, we'll grab this stuff out. Um, so we've got, what, 18 uh, ingots here? That's plenty. Jump over here. We'll quickly make uh, one of these gears. Beautiful. And we will make the Igneous Extruder. Beautiful. So, how does this guy work? Well, for starters, he's going to need some power. So, I'll slap him down here. Um, we'll see if we have an energy cable. If we do, if we don't, sorry, I was going to make some more. But we, we have some. Place this guy here. Oh, does he not need power? He doesn't need power. Beautiful. That makes my job a lot easier. Um, okay, so let's read this guy. Generates various types of stone. Requires an adjacent lava source and cooling. The block beneath may also affect the product. Okay, so what are we what are we being told here? I think we're being told that if I place this guy next to lava, cool things happen. <laughs> so I could place him here. I mean, like, listen, listen, let's be honest. It's getting very messy over here. <laughs> Realistically, we should do this somewhere else. And you know what? I'm going to do it somewhere else. I'm going to do it over here. I, I think this is a nice spot. So I'm going to place this guy here. He's beautiful. <laughs> we'll need uh, we'll need some lava now. So I'll run over here. I don't think we have any lava lying around except for uh, that tank there that we set up. Um, and we're also going to need, which this might be the tricky part, blue ice if we actually want to make this blackstone. So blue ice, right? We have a few options. We can use some packed ice with a daisy. We can get nine packed ice. Um... There's there's a Bisbee and a Pure B. There's a multi servo press. N the packed ice. Um, this is gonna be ice, <laughs> which we need. Um, or a bunch of water, I guess, in a combiner. Um, bulk washing. <sighs> ice into pa you know what? I think bulked washing honestly might be the play. Th this might be the play because it, th so far this seems pretty good. And there's been a few things that I've sort of wanted to wash in the past, but we just haven't had, um, we just have, haven't had it set up. So this might be what we do because ice itself, how are we going to get our hands on that? I, I, I don't really know. Um, hmm. We can compress a snowball. That's pretty cool. Heat frame cooling, neon gas. No, we don't really have much neon lying around. Um, oh, world transmutation. We can transmute water into ice using the philosopher's stone and then we can pick that up with um, some sort of silk touch or we make a blast chiller which honestly might be easier because I I don't have my hands on silk touch I know we can get it relatively easily with like a tinker tool I think made out of brass maybe or maybe that's silent yeah, I don't know but we, we can make like silky upgrades I think or we just make a blast chiller which is going to use some invar which we already have uh, we're pro we're, I mean even then, we need two packed ice. So, like, we have to do the ice thing regardless. Okay, okay, okay. Um, in that case, <laughs> we definitely are in a pickle. So, what are our options? Well, for starters, can I make the exchanging gadget? Or was the exchanging gadget... I think it needed... Yeah, it needs an Aldermodium nugget. I was wondering if I could, like, exchange um, the ice out for another block. I wonder if that was a thing. But, um... Huh. Okay. So, <sighs> I need Silk Touch to set up the Ignis Extruder. What a messy episode. Um, sure, sure. Let's do hashtag silk. Um, okay. Silk touch. Does it give me like a crafting recipe? It does with one of these forges, which we're probably not going to make. Um, or one of these, which we're also probably not going to make. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Th this is fine. Everything's fine. All right. So what we're going to need if we want to make the uh, silk touch for a tinker tool is we're going to need rose gold and string. String we've got. So rose gold, what's this going to be? This is going to be either in an alloy kiln or in the smeltery, um, gold and copper. Honestly, pretty good. In fact, it's so good that we have an alloy kiln. So I might just set this guy up. Um, we only need 12 blocks. No, we only need eight, but we've got 12. <laughs> um, this guy, I'll slap down here. I mean, this is once again, probably just going to be a temporary spot for him. Um, so we'll put that in there. We'll search for our hammer. We don't have a hammer. I'm sure it's somewhere. Hmm, it's in my backpack. I knew it. <laughs> um, we'll right click this guy. That'll turn him into an alley kiln. Uh, this guy will then, you know, he'll be receiving some gold and some copper. Um, we'll turn the copper, I guess, back into ingot form. That should be fine. Um, in terms of how many we want, I'm going to split this into three. And then I'm going to put those away. 
And then what I should be able to do is chuck both of those in and get pretty much what we want. Um, on top of that, I'll obviously have to put some coal in. That'll be nice and fine. And this thing, I mean, it smells pretty fast. So we should have some rose gold being produced. And we get four a pop. So we, we realistically only need this guy to make it twice. But we've got so many resources. Why not just leave all that in there? You know, the more rose gold, the merrier. <laughs> um, now, the next thing we will need is a tinker tool. So if I search pickaxe, we have a Minecraft pickaxe. And we have a tinker's construct pickaxe head cast. In our backpack, we have a pickaxe, we have a matic, we don't just have a pickaxe. Um, now, whilst we probably could get away with putting um, Silk Touch on one of these tools, realistically, we should have a pickaxe. Uh, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you, we, we just should. So, I'm going to turn this guy off. I'm going to look in here. Currently, we have it full of nickel. Um, can we make a nickel pickaxe? Nickel pick. Doesn't really look like we can. <laughs> um, that's a bit of a problem. What I'm going to do is I'll turn this guy on. That'll stop um, this guy from filling up again. We can put the rest of that in there. Um, and I'm just going to drain this guy. <laughs> at, at least to the point where we can start um, putting a different resource in there. And once again, there's a bunch of resources we can use. I'll be honest. I kind of just want to use, uh, you know, what, what do you call it? Um, iron. Simply because, I mean, it, it's sort of the easiest to do. Or, or I do... Honestly, I might just do a cobble one. As silly as this sounds, I might just do that. Because I, I, I honestly think it'll be easier um, for like upgrading and stuff. So let's open this up. I'm going to go pickaxe head. Um, I'm going to need some cobble. Luckily, we have a little bit lying in here. Beautiful. Um, so pickaxe head. Awesome. Um, the rest of the stuff I might make out of wood, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure a good, a, a good plan is you, you can get some wood. I think as well paper, believe it or not, I think is decently good. So, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, the reason why paper is good, I believe, is because you can... Oh my god, we don't even have our patterns. Um, with that being said, though, it looks like paper isn't even working in here. So, I guess, I guess we're not using paper. Um, but it used to give you extra modifier slots, I believe. Um, anyhow, we're going to go in here. Uh, we'll get the tool handle, sure. And then we'll also get the tool binding. Why not? It might not be the best tool ever, but it's a tool nonetheless. So, I'm going to slap this stuff together um, in... What's this? This is a pickaxe. This is a pickaxe. This is what we want. Um, stone pickaxe. It is going to have the perks. Um, more material. Tool deals bonus damage, which attacks through armor, whatever. And then stone bound uh, one. I mean, you know, it's a decent tool. I, I, I will. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I am going to go ahead and make one of these tool bindings just to compare the stats. Um, realistically, nothing's changing here. The only thing that's changing is the, um, the modifiers. The tool mine's faster as it wears out, but does less damage. I mean, I'm not using this as a weapon, so... Sure, I, I guess, yeah. So, stone pickaxe, there we go. Now, as this stone pickaxe stand, stands, it's um not too impressive, you know what I mean? Like, it's... I mean, it's a stone pickaxe. It's, it's not really doing much. But, this is where the cool thing comes in. I believe we can chuck in a diamond. Now, before I do this, I will go ahead and... Uh, oh, do we not have string? Interesting. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll, um, we'll grab some silkworms, which aren't in there either. I guess the silkworms are over in here. Possibly some string as well. Nope, just silkworms. Um, we'll grab these out, and we've got a bunch of stuff over here. So I'll tell you what. I'll place this stuff down. By the way, I'm pretty sure this spreads like crazy in this mod pack um, from memory. We'll see. <laughs> I, I don't know if it needs light or something, but I don't know. I'll jump up, and I'll, I'll just place a bit of this around. And hopefully this whole tree will turn into uh, what we want. Yeah, I mean, look, look at that. It is spreading like wildfire. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be back. All, all we need is that little bit of string. You know what's horrific as well? The crafting menu has filled up with, uh, with items. That, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's genuinely pretty bad. Um, oh god. What, what a mess. I, can we sort this? Is that maybe a problem? Let's open this up. Press sort. Did that do anything? Not really. Um, once again, we can put some stack upgrades in. That will clean up some of this stuff, but the ma the vast majority is like single stack items, so it won't do too much. Um, this over here is clearly quite a contraption. Um, we'll use up all of this wooden crook, and then we'll probably have to upgrade to like a diamond crook or something, realistically. Um, but once again, that's probably enough string. Like, if we're being completely honest, we've probably got what we came for. Like, <laughs> you don't need that much, but you get that much. Um, so silky cloth, here we go. I'll chuck this stuff in. Um, once again, we would like eight of this, so I'm going to go ahead and craft eight of it. Yeah, we, we don't even need the rest of that string. Beautiful. This stuff can go away. Um, so, with all of this stuff, we're going to run over to this, uh, Tinker Station. First and foremost, this pickaxe has a mining speed of 1.2 and a harvest tier of stone. If I chuck a diamond on, the mining speed goes up to six, 
Uh, it was it previously four, so it goes up to six, and it can now mine at a harvest tier of diamond, and it gets some more durability, so it's pretty good. So I'm going to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is chuck in my silky cloth. Now, what we can see here is this isn't enough, right? There's not enough room here to, uh, I guess, do what we want. We need something better. Now, I don't. Yeah, we didn't make a better forge, did we? No, it doesn't look like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this guy up. And we're going to upgrade him. Um, so at the moment, he's obviously just a little tinker station. We need him to be a tinker, uh, a tinker forge. So he's going to need uh, three blocks of some sort of alloy, I believe. And on top of that, he's going to need some seared stone or, or I think seared bricks work. So we'll probably turn most of this into seared bricks. We only need like, what, four total. So there we go. That's fine. Um, and then we need ingots to turn into blocks. Now... Phew, Realistically, we're probably just going to use bronze since I think this is probably the easiest to do. And hey, look, three blocks. Sounds good to me. Um, so we'll press you on this and look at that. We can make ourselves a Tinker's Anvil out of bronze blocks. Now you can use pretty much any alloy. I think if you, um, I don't know what you need to do, but there's a way that you can see which ones you need. But yeah, anyway, we're just going to use this guy. So I'll, I'll bring him back over here. Why not? Slap him down. He makes a cool anvil noise. And I mean... He looks pretty cool. The bronze is actually a pretty beautiful one. Um, so now we have a lot more slots here. Now, once again, I don't think... Oh, wait, hold on. Silky cloth. Yeah, okay. So we, we made more than we need. I was like, hold on. Did, did we actually need eight? We don't actually need eight. Does this melt into rose gold? Yeah, it does. Um, so yeah, cool. So what I can do is I can chuck in my uh, pickaxe here, surround it with a silky cloth like so. And now it's going to use up another... Um, is it going to use up a modifier? Where does it say modifier? Okay, so yeah, we've got abilities one. And I chuck this on and it gets rid of that ability because now I've got a, a silk added. So there we go. So this pickaxe, we won't necessarily use it day to day, although we could because once again, the, the, the crazy thing about this is because we made it out of stone, I believe even though it can mine diamond tier stuff, we still just repair it with cobble. So it's very, very powerful. Um, but what we need, what do we need? Um, we need, we need ice. <laughs> um, <sighs> How are we getting ice again? I completely forgotten. Uh, bruh. World transmutation. Bingo. So we need a philosopher's stone, which apparently isn't in our system. So we'll grab that out. Um, while we're here, let's put away this. Um, we'll put away the sword as well. We don't need it on us all the time. And let's run over to, I guess, here. And we'll turn this stuff hmm, into ice. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, I believe there is a button you press. So I'm going to search project. Um, because that's the mod. I'm going to click category. And these are all the Project E keybinds. Now, I think I want to fire a projectile. I think that's what I want to do. I'm pretty sure. So that is currently bound to R. Can we potentially put that on a different key? I don't know which key necessarily I want it on. Let's put it on four. <laughs> so now if I look at this water and press four, what happens? Okay, we fire a projectile. It doesn't really do much. <sighs> I'll be honest. I'm not sure how to interact with the water with this guy. Does it say in here, world transmutation? I mean, this stuff makes sense, but how do I do this one? Click in world, shift click for second input. Click in world, but I have to just click on the water. So if I look like this, I mean, I feel like it just doesn't do it. It's possible as well. So for some things, I, I don't know what determines it, but uh, some things in this mod, you do need like fuel for. So we'll grab some coal, maybe see if that does anything. I'll try right clicking. I mean, it's just turning that into that. We'll try pressing our projectile. Not really doing much. Um, I can hold crouch and click. I really don't know. I don't know what to do here. But what does it say for change mode? Uh, mode is currently cube. I don't really know how to fix that. All right, so I'm sort of at a loss here. A little bit. I'm at a little bit of a loss. Um, hmm. We have a few options. I don't know how to get this working. I don't know if you can. Okay, I, I, I just don't know if you can. I don't know how to do it. I, this is gonna, um, I, I looked it up. I saw a post from seven years ago saying it's a bug that you can't. I doubt that's the situation here, but I, I, I can't figure out how to do it. It's probably staring me in the face. Um, in terms of getting ice any other way, the compactor looks reasonably easy. The problem with this guy is we would need an atomizer. And I'll be honest, an atomizer honestly isn't a bad recipe. So we might actually do that. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was going to be a lot scarier than it looks, but uh, we could do that. The other thing I was thinking is possibly this heat frame because it looks like it cools pretty much any liquid we put in here. So we could put like um, water. It's currently cycling through chocolate, but it goes through all of them. We can put water in this guy and he'll turn it into ice. 
And he only costs a furnace and some compressed iron, which is just going to be TNT and some iron. So both are very doable. It's a question of, I guess, what we want to do. And to be honest, we could probably do both. We'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm sure we'll jump into the atomizer at some point, which makes me want to do the heat frame because I feel like not many people would do the heat frame. Um, and I don't know, I kind of want to do it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a TNT, which is very easy. Uh, we're then going to grab some iron. Um, in terms of how much iron we need, <sighs> probably a little bit more than 12. So we'll, we'll run over here and see what we've got. We don't have any. That's a bit of a problem. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll grab a bit more iron. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll grab um, a stack of this and I'll come over here and, uh, you know, get this stuff processing. Um, and by the looks of things, we need to uh, refill this tank. Luckily, that is not a problem. Never fear. But yeah, setting up two tanks, like obviously wiring it up is probably better, but setting up two tanks has worked very nicely. Um, this thing, if I flick it up, we should get iron smelting. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, we should get enough eventually. As of right now, uh, you know what? I will get another block. Now, the reason for this is when you use this um, compressed iron crafting recipe, you lose some of the iron you get. You, you just do. You just lose some. So 15 is probably enough. So we'll give this a shot. Now, another thing to make note of is it is going to create an explosion. And I'm guessing potentially you could lose some stuff. I, I don't know if it actually breaks my map. Um, I, I'm pretty sure... Actually, no, the stuff isn't claimed. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and claim this. Sometimes claiming fixes it. Pretty cheatsy, I guess, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my magnet. Um, we'll turn this guy off, I think, with V. Yep, there we go. Um, while we're here, we will create a button to ignite this guy and we're going to drop the iron on the ground right next to it. We're going to flick the button, TNT will explode and then once it explodes, I'm turning the magnet on. Okay, nice. It didn't break the world, um, but regardless, the magnet worked. We now have compressed iron ingots and as you can see, we put 15 in, we got 11 back. So next up is the heat pipe itself. Here it is. Now, I'd, I'll be honest, I don't know if this needs pressure. I, I genuinely, I, I don't know. I didn't really look it up, um, but we've got it. <laughs> we've got it regardless. Here it is. Oh, it doesn't really, huh. Can be placed on any inventory. Oh yes. I do remember how this stuff works. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, we've actually used this before um, for, I think this exact same reason um, or, or yeah. So if I go ahead and create a chest what da, 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 and I place this guy down, he doesn't have to really be anywhere. I guess we can place him here. Um, I can place the heat frame on the chest. And as you can see, it's got a pretty cool frame around it. Um, and look at the temperature in the top left. It's currently dropping. I don't necessarily know why, but it is. And it's, it's stagnated around 12. I don't know if that's because it's just nighttime. Maybe. But I'll we'll sleep through night. We'll see what it says. We might need to craft one more block um, in order to cool this thing down to sub-zero so that we can actually freeze. Um, but for now, I think we're fine. Let's have a look again. Does it heat up during the day now that the sun's out? It might just, I don't know. I guess we're in a 12 degree climate in this tiger biome. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what do we need to do? Well, the idea, the general idea is that um, you get water. <laughs> you place water in a bucket inside of this guy and he will turn it into ice. But obviously he needs to be cool enough because at the moment, I mean, he's not freezing anything. Um, so in order to cool him, I believe what you need is a heat sink. This guy right here, it's going to cost you gold, two bits of compressed iron ingots, and some iron bars. And this guy will disperse heat into the air. So, for example, if I chuck this guy on top, we should hopefully see him dispersing heat. We might need something else because, I mean, as you can see, he's not really doing it at the moment. Um, hold on, let me, let me have a look because we might be able to do this. I just need to remember how this thing works. All right, so I, I think I sort of get it. So I think at the moment it does nothing. You know what I mean? Because, I, I mean, nothing's generating heat to dissipate. It's just ambient temperature. So I think the other thing we need, <laughs> bear with me, is a vortex tube. This guy right here. So we're going to need some more compressed uh, uh, iron to do the rest of this stuff. So luckily, we've got all of that, you know, smelting up. So we'll grab one more TNT and then we can, uh, we can make this all happen. Everything's fine. <laughs> just making TNT on my floating island. Um, in terms of how much we'll get, we'll do half a stack. Why not? Um, obviously the TNT didn't explode last time, but I, I guess you can never really be too sure. So we'll drop this on the ground, turn that into a button, button, boom, press that, get my thing on the ready, wait for it just in case. Yep. Okay. We're, we're still all good. Nothing's breaking still. Um, so we'll open this guy up. Let's go ahead and try and make this vortex tube. Now, once again, I think that atomizer probably works, but we're, we're in too deep and I want to do this. <laughs> so we're going to make pressure tubes. 
we're then going to make a vortex tube. And so this guy, realistically, we probably should move him. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll pick him up and I don't know. I guess we'll put him over here. We've got a little bit of a construction zone happening over here, I guess. Um, so da, 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 da. we've got the chest, the heat frame. We're going to place a vortex tube. Now, there's two things to note. One side is red. One side is blue. I believe what we want is the opposite way for this to face. And so obviously the cold side is going to go into this um, into this chest and the hot side is going to go out into the world. And then I think if we place a heat sink, it helps to get that hot air actually out of the system. Now there's one more ingredient that's needed in order to get this running and that's some fuel. In this case, it is pressure. Um, we're going to need to provide some pressure into this vortex tube. So it shouldn't be too hard to make. I think we, get, I think we have all the stuff we need. We should be able to search for a compressor. Um, we just want a basic air compressor. This guy right here will do. He'll need some reinforced bricks, which needs some reinforced stone, which is crafted like this. So we'll go ahead and do that. That then turns into bricks. I think that's all we needed. And there we go. We have an air compressor. Um, while we're here, I believe we had, yeah, I mean, we've got a few tubes, but we'll grab one for now. Um, so we're going to place the tube, I guess, here. Sure. As you can see, it's connected. We'll place the compressor on it. There we go. And then in the compressor, you chuck a little bit of coal. I'm just going to put one for now just to see if it works. And as this builds pressure within its system, as you can see already, the temperature on the east, which is this direction, is dropping. The other side's raising ever so slightly, but because we've got this heat sink, I believe, it's spinning out all that um, energy as much as it can. And so it's not you know, going up as much. And another thing we should make note of is if I put water in here, I don't know how much we need in terms of the negatives, but we should start making stuff. Now, this guy can explode. He, he, he can explode. Um, if the pressure goes into the red here, he can go boom. Um, it, now, he gets more pressure by not releasing any pressure. And at the moment, I think in this system, there's not really any pressure release. Um, if we wanted to, you can make a safety um, tube module. This guy right here. It'll need a pressure gauge, a lever, and a, and a tube. Honestly, it's worth doing. I'll, I'll show you how to make it real quick. It, because if we slap one of these on, we're pretty safe um, from our thing exploding. Um, we'll grab two levers. Here we go. One, two. Beautiful. Um, and so you might as well. You might as well grab one. So we're going to grab this. I'm going to chuck it onto this tube. And so what it means is if this tube has pressure that's pretty much at five, which is any more and it'll explode, it will just release that pressure. Now, it can't keep up with a bunch of pressure. Like if I have like a billion air compressors running, I'm pretty sure it'll explode regardless. Or we'll have to place a bunch of these for each like uh, air compressor we set up. But just for this small setup, it's perfectly fine. Another thing you'll note is, oh, for starters, we've got ice in here. Um, but for the follow-up, it's gone nice and blue. And the temperature here is actually at negative, look, look in the top left, negative 160. So it's working pretty well. Um, what we could do as well, I guess, is set up a um, little bit of an infinite water source because, well, I don't know, we need more water. Um, and it would be preferable to not have to run back every time. So I'm just going to create that over here. I'm um, just going to do a very, uh, you know, classical water source thing here. <laughs> now, once again, I might be missing a recipe for getting ice that's way easier than this. Sorry. <laughs> Genuinely, but uh, this is what we're doing. This is how we're doing it. So now, how much ice do we need? Well, to be honest, to get blue ice, it would be nine packed ice, which would be nine ice. So that's a lot of ice. That's a lot of ice that we would need. Unless we set up... Um, <laughs> You know, our encased fan situation. Uh, so, <laughs> how are we going to do this? Um, oh, I don't really know, to be honest. It, it sort of hurts my brain to think about. Like, do I need to set this up? Is there a way that I can just make this be water? I, you know what? There is. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to try and do this the cheap way, okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, a piston. A sticky piston, pr preferably, but we might have to craft one. We need some iron. Awesome. Listen, what you're going to see is about to be very primitive, but it, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, on top of this, I will get a lever. Um, realistically, once again, should probably have like a bunch of these just in the system for whenever we need them. Um, so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to have something to stop this lava flowing past, right? So I think what that's going to look like... Oh, I didn't want to stand there. Oh, God. But what this is going to look like is probably a piston behind like this block here that pushes it in because I believe this is just a piece of cobble. So if I place this and if I face it the correct way, we should be good. The question is, can I place it the correct way? Can a wrench move it? No. Okay. Okay. So here it is. If I then place a lever here and I flick this, the lava should stop completely 
And all we have is fan running. Beautiful. So, <laughs> oh, did I break the lever? What happened here? What causes this to happen? Huh. Is that... Isn't that weird? Am I... Hmm. What? The piston's moving there. And then it's causing the lever to break off. Uh, hold on. Even on top? Huh. I... I... Uh, huh. Okay. I... What if it's here? Oh, the... How strange. Okay, I mean, it's fine. It, it works regardless, so I, I guess it's fine. Um, so what's next? Well, one thing... Hmm, uh, I don't really know, to be honest. What is next? I mean... Do I make another... I think we make another one. <laughs> you, you guys are going to love this. Trust me, trust me. You're, you're in for a treat today. All right, so we're going to get another piston. <laughs> this is the treat that you're, uh, you're in for. Um, we're going to grab a lever. Obviously, to turn it on. And this guy's going to be on the other side. And he's going to reveal the water, right? The water that currently doesn't exist. But it will exist. So, what this is going to look like is, I guess, a piston here, right? This guy's going to pull it. Okay. And water's going to flow somehow. <laughs> I just need to figure out where I need to put this. Do I actually need this to be here? No. Why? Meh. Why? Hmm. How do I do this? I think I place it here. Right? And then we place like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Everything's fine. Okay, so let's see if this works. Um, <laughs> my plan is if we have the water here in that spot, I should be able to pull this open. The water flows past. Now we have blast chilling. I can do the other thing with that. Awesome. I just need to not run them at the same time or else we have a big problem. Um, so, <laughs> nice. Um, now I think if I open this guy up at the bottom and I add ice to the list here, I should be able to place the ice on here and it should chill it into packed ice. Now, in order to get blue ice, I don't believe I can just chuck it back on, um, but that saves us a lot. Like, it genuinely saves us an insane amount. If we wanted to, we could make it pure daisy relatively easily, I think. Um, otherwise, I need what? I need, honestly, what? Six more ice? I mean, that's that's pretty easy. We, we can do that. So I'm gonna click away here and get my stuff, uh, you know, frozen. Oh, I made more than we needed, but that's fine. The more the merrier, I guess. Um, so this is to make one blue ice, obviously. Um, so we've got all that packed ice there. We'll chuck that stuff in here. Um, the blue ice, we then, I guess, place on the other side of the extruder. I'm still a little bit confused by all this. So um, let's jump over here. Let's go ahead and grab a bucket out. And, and I guess we'll I guess we'll start setting up over here so that we can, uh, I don't know, try and wrap our heads around things. Um, what I've realized as well is if I'm placing down lava, I probably want to place this a little bit further away just to, you know, just to be uh, safe. Uh, so this guy's going to be lava. I think that's how it works. Adjacent lava, source, and cooling. And then that's going to be blue ice. And allegedly that'll be fine. I, I don't know what's going to happen in terms of heating of the blue ice. I don't know if like it'll turn into water. I don't know how blue ice works. I don't think it turns into water. I think that's like part of its whole thing. But um, I'll tell you what, we're going to find out. Um, so I'll open this up. I'll press G. That will turn it into blue ice. Beautiful. And we'll run all the way over here. And I, I've, we'll see what's going to happen. Bam. There we go. Blackstone. Awesome. <laughs> so I think if I get like five of this, we can see if this works. Um, so over here, the main reason we were doing this was to make vector plates. And as you can see, works like a charm. Awesome. All we need now is more of that stuff. Awesome. <laughs> okay, we've got 36 vector plates. We'll, we'll see what they can do. And then we'll hook up our, um, our other stuff. Uh, do we have mobs over here? We do have some. Um, hold on. Let me grab out this little guy. He's pretty good. Oh, let's see if we can take care of him. I thought we could one tap him, to be honest. Nice. Okay, beautiful. It, w it wasn't too bad. <laughs> Alright, I'll be honest. I reckon we can do this with one more block of um, slime, if we're lucky. So that's going to be one more piece of uh, mushroom that we're sacrificing to the uh, to the witch barrel gods, I guess. <laughs> so I'll open this up. Uh, search mushroom. Once again, if we did happen to use them all, like accidentally, we can just go back into the twilight forest and I'm sure we can find some more. I'm sure it's not the end of the world. Uh, this guy will, however, need another bucket of water. Um, luckily, the witch water doesn't take too long, so I will be back. And also, look at that. We got an egg. Awesome. Okay, boom. Slime block. Ooh, we almost fell in there. That would have been a little bit annoying. <laughs> it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but it would have been annoying. We got a stack of uh, black stones. So this stuff works phenomenally well. Um, chuck that stuff in there. The slime, obviously, we want to turn that back into slime balls. Then we're going to click... Uh, what are we making? <laughs> Does anyone remember? 
Slime vector plates. <laughs> Do this. I'll craft as many as it'll let me. Oh, we actually need sugar. Easily done. I'm going to turn all that into sugar because why not? Slap that stuff in there. How many will it let me make? Perfect. All of them. Now, okay, we probably made more than we need, but eh, it's fine. The more the merrier. I'm sure we'll find some more uses for it in the future. Um, and even, even if we don't, it's not the end of the world. You know what? It actually is a good thing we made that much because I still don't know if we have enough, to be completely honest with you. Like, it's... I mean, look at it. We've genuinely... We've torn through it pretty much all of it. Um, we'll start having this stuff go that way. Yeah. We, we genuinely need a little bit more. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, in terms of this... I'll leave it like this for now, just because, you know, we, we still do need to finish this off. And I will finish it off. I'll grab a little bit more, um... I'll, we'll do another mushroom. <laughs> I know we don't have much, but... Listen, it's for the greater good. <laughs> okay, boom. How many do we need? I'm gonna do... I uh, apparently just six. <laughs> oh, no, we need so much more. Um, that's a little bit annoying, to be honest. <laughs> we need more sugar can and, like... That, I mean, it doesn't grow fast. I know we can, like, water and can it, but... Ugh. You know what? It, hey, I'll tell you what. While that should gain's growing, let me let me craft one more thing. Um, obviously, I wanted this absorption hopper. This guy's going to need an eye of ender. That is going to need an ender pearl. This we can craft like so. So there we go. Ender pearl. Awesome. We'll put that stuff away. Why not? Um, I'll probably regret that later. The eye of ender. That's going to be a little bit of blaze powder. Easy enough. Um, the next thing is going to be a hopper. That we can do. Beautiful. And there we go. Absorption hopper. Now, this guy will need two things. One is a chest. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Arguably two chests, so we'll do that as well. Um, and then finally, he will also need a tank of some sort. So I'm going to grab this basic one just because it's the easiest to make. We don't have this other stuff just yet. I mean, we can make it, but it's not worth it. Um, and I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to set this stuff up. So how does the absorption hopper work? Well, it absorbs stuff and it places its stuff. <laughs> it places it places. So, hmm. Okay, luckily they're still going there. For starters, you can place the tank there oh, for a follow-up. Um, we can place the chest, uh, I mean, I could place him here, or realistically, I can place him like this. We can still open it. Beautiful. So, what we do is this direction is south, so on the south, we want to send fluids. And so now this guy will fill up with fluid XP. And then what we want to do is say down will be items. And so as you can see, all the items get stored in here. That is it. We've done it. We've solved, we've solved world, world looting. <laughs> um, so boom, 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 boom. There we go. And, I mean, this stuff will just help out a little bit. Um, realistically, I need to cover up those holes. I don't have uh, the bricks on me, and so you guys are going to hate this, but I'm just going to patch them up with, uh, with, with wood. Yep, I'm that guy. I just did it. I know, I know, I know. I agree, I agree. But I did it anyway. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we should get mobs spawning in there more often now. They should automatically get mashed for the most part. Clearly, a few little, uh, whatchamacallums, extra vector plates would help out. But for now, should be pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, once again, that's pretty much it. <laughs> um, now the cool thing with this guy as well, we're probably going to be making a lot more of these. The reason for this is if we have a look at this igneous, uh, igneous extruder, we can have a look at what we can get. We can get soulstone, right? We can get andesite, blackstone, diorite, basalt. We can get cobble, we can get endstone just by using glowstone and witch water. That seems pretty insane. So like this is infinite endstone, I believe. You can get Deep Slate, you can get um, Darkstone, you can get Netherrack just by putting a block of Redstone and some Witch Water. Like, we can do all this stuff. And then, the cool thing about this is once we get, like, Netherrack, we can uh, chuck it through the Auto Crusher, I believe. Yep, the Hammerer, into Crush Netherrack. That stuff you can sieve. And if we're sieving it through a Diamond Mesh, which we are, that's a that's a very small chance, but it's a chance to get Netherite. And we don't have Netherite. And that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's an option. Um... Pretty good option as well, to be honest. Um, so we'll probably have to do that in a, in a coming episode. This guy, I, I don't know, he's fine. This thing's cool, literally. Um, but yeah, we got, we got our Tinker's tool. We got Silk Touch stuff. We got, all we're waiting on is, yeah, Sugar Cane. Yeah. <laughs> I, listen, I don't know what my plans are. There's, there's so many things we have to do, but um, I, I think we did pretty good. Obviously, the last thing is just those few more vector plates, but I'm, I'm feeling like we pretty much did what we, sh we should have done. Um, yeah. Because, like, the, the issue at the moment is, like, obviously the mobs are here, but until I'm standing here, they have no reason to walk aimlessly into the, uh, into the grinder. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, thank you. <laughs> hopefully you had a good time. Um, thank you for supporting the channel in general, whether that's just watching the videos, whether it's watching the ads to help me out financially. Thank you for that. Um, or if you're extremely generous and well-off and you feel like donating, thank you for doing that. 
don't feel pressured to in the slightest. Um, watching the ads and just supporting the community in general is is more than enough. So so thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode. <laughs> uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. Uh, there's there's so many things. Like for starters, if I just patch up this roof, I feel like everything would look so much better. What is this even from? It's from the lava we had before. We don't even have the lava again. So there's no reason for this roof to be just ripped in, <laughs> ripped into shreds. And I can't even get out. What have I done? Thank you guys for watching. Oh yes, an exit. Um, and hopefully, huh? How'd that happen? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Anyway, that looks a little bit weird. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.